Good afternoon and welcome to the hangar here in Auckland, New Zealand for a, uh, a quick look at the materials used to construct the de Havilland chipmunk. Now from a distance and uh, helped a little bit by the fact that it's painted mostly silver, you'd think that the aeroplane was made of metal and for a you know, 1946 design uh, you might expect that to be the case. Turns out that's only part of the story. So the chipmunk is largely constructed of varying gauges of aluminium alloy and if we look at the fuselage from about there so that's the firewall all the way down to the uh, where the orange paint finishes that is the case. So the whole thing is made up of uh, aluminium frames and skin and if you look closely you can see where the frames or the skin is riveted onto the frames. And the same thing applies when we look at the wing. And actually, if you're used to, uh, you know, modern aeroplanes, like the Piper Arrow over there, uh, by comparison, the chipmunk is made of really quite heavy gauge aluminium. And you can see there's a couple of tiny wee dents and, and dings in there from, uh, you know, 70 plus years of life but there's none of the uh, sort of dimpling and oil canning effect that you see on a uh, on a more modern aeroplane but as i said the aluminium is only part of the story because when we come around here we can see it looks a little bit more like a tiger moth or a sopwith camel or the wright brothers original aeroplane that's because even though the uh, the ribs the structure underneath remain aluminium, the covering, the skin, is actually fabric, in this case a, uh, a synthetic fabric. So this fabric is attached to the, uh, to the aluminium ribs, it's taped and glued along the, uh, along the edges, and then along the ribs it's actually sewn on, and we can just see every few inches on each of these ribs is one of these and what that is is a stitch so if you can just imagine this whole uh, thing being naked it's just being a series of ribs we put the uh, we put the fabric on we stitch it with a great big needle through one side all the way through the wing and down to the other where you can see the rib and the stitches passing all the way through same thing on the, uh, all the flying surfaces. So the aileron, the flap, and back here, the rudder, and the elevators, all covered in fabric. Once, uh, once we've got those pieces of fabric on and we've stitched them to the ribs, uh, we cover those stitched areas with, uh, with tape. And you can just see it's got a and this is fabric as well. Got a bit of a zigzag edge to stop the fraying, um, and that's done with what are called pinking shears, which is a special kind of scissors that uh, your mother or father might have had back in the day to stop um, the edges of, of um, dress material from fraying. So that's the aluminium, and that's the fabric. There's a couple of other materials that make it into the chipmunk. Of course, there's the uh, there's the perspex. In the uh, in the canopy, none of it's glass. It's all uh, it's all plastic, which does make it a little bit prone to scratching. We've got to take very very good care of that. And then right up the front, there's another couple of materials. Um, one of the things I like in this aeroplane is it features a little bit of brass. So if we look down there at the pitot head, uh, I'm told this is the same pitot head found on a uh, Spitfire or a Hurricane, but I don't have any. Uh, evidence to support that. Let's just say it sounds, uh, it sounds truthy. So we've got some brass to polish there. Got a little bit more brass here on the fuel cap. And then we've got to come to the steel. So steel is used pretty sparingly in the engine, uh, in the aeroplane. Apart from the engine, of course, which is uh, almost all steel, we've got these welded tube engine bearers attaching the, uh, the engine to the firewall and there'll be some steel tubes down there in the, uh, in the fixed undercarriage. And then finally, all the way to the front, we've got the propeller, 
which is made of aluminium, and the cowlings, which are mostly aluminium, but uh, right up the front, we've got a, uh, a sole, lonely uh, fiberglass one, just to give us that uh, sleek aerodynamic appearance from the front. So those are the materials that go into making a de Havilland chipmunk. Mainly aluminium or aluminium alloy, quite a lot of fabric, a little bit of steel and a little bit of brass. Thanks for watching.